Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's create a cool testimonial section using carousels. For that, I have all the components ready over here. So, let's ignore this one. I have a main frame within which I have a title. I have a section uh, for the carousels. I have two arrows and one page indicator. And all of these are instances. So this uh, here I have the main component. If you see, I have already made the components to indicate the page. And here I have the, what is it? Arrow indicator. Now for the carousel part, I have used auto layouts to group all these items, the ratings, uh, the review and the name of that person. So they are grouped by auto layout. I have made duplicates of it and changed the content inside and then I group them together again by another auto layout. If you don't know about auto layout, then check out my previous videos. So the group is ready. All the other components are ready. Now we just need to put this carousel inside the frame just like this adjust it accordingly okay now it's quite ready now what I'll do I want to make the selected one a bit larger so I'll press K to change it to um, scale and then I'll make it larger by pressing alt and drag it outside to make it bigger okay I have de uh, decreased the opacity I have decreased the opacity to 50 for the rest of them since it's hidden okay let's keep it in the center okay now let's do the same thing with the rest of the frames make a duplicate use the arrow key from the board and decrease the using the scale tool decrease the size of this one and increase the size of the selected one you can adjust it accordingly and also do not forget to increase the opacity of the selected one and decrease the capacity of the other one I want to set it to hub content okay and in this case what we'll do for this two now these two arrows are also grouped by auto layout and uh, the horizontal gap is set to auto so that whenever we make changes to the screen to the to the mainframe this the gap between the two will automatically adjust itself okay and for this page indicator I'll change it to 2, 2 being selected. So we'll do the same thing for rest of them. And another thing, I'll change this arrow to active state because when we'll uh, add prototype to it, when we'll click on it, it will go back to this previous stage. Okay, so both the arrows should be active. And in this case, this one will not be active because there's nothing on the left side. So we'll do the same for the rest. that we are done with them we can select all of them all the frames and add a component set okay now it's time to add prototype I'll start by adding a prototype to this arrow select the arrow Add a prototype to the next slide on click smart animate and I'll use gentle because I want a slight bounce okay I'll do the same thing for the rest of them and here the same thing the opposite.
now it's done we just need to see the outcome let's take a copy of this and show you this how is another to use thing. it suppose this is the so main frame this is a landing page or maybe a website or something uh, so let's say landing page landing page. page and now i'll change the color to, to, black. to black so this is a landing okay. page where i'll now, be using this testimonial section this testimonial frame you and just need to set, set, set to the constraint to left and right, right. Okay. For the testimonial section, the size so that the whenever you stretch changes. it, it will act accordingly. Now, what you can do, you can just change the size of the testimonial word, and if you want, you can change the size of the arrow buttons. But I don't think in this case it's necessary because it's big enough to be touched with our thumb. Okay, I'll keep it same. Also, if you see, the arrows are also auto adjusting itself. As per the size of the mainframe, let's preview it. See, it's perfectly running well. And with this, we come to an end. I hope you like my video, and do not forget to like, comment, and share, and hit that subscribe button. So keep practicing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.